Apparently we're investigating the possibility of having a group of products that all allow uh, data portability between them. So the user can be constructing and simulating various aspects of a larger world. Uh, perhaps I want to uh, build a house or build a city or design a car or whatever. I should be able to buy a product that allows me to explore that and then when I'm done I can take that house or car or city and place it into my world model. So really the data set that we're dealing with is additive. These aren't islands of data you know sitting with each product but really there's a large set of data that I can slowly be building over time much the way somebody might build a model train set and slowly get into the various aspects of the terrain and the village and the switching. I can pick whichever aspect of this world interests me the most and I can author it. And I can go into that world, move around in it, interact with it, and perhaps even meet other users in it as it becomes a shared world. Well, the important thing about the data type is that if we design it correctly, we can take that data out of a game and import it into another game. And by doing this, we will be able to, in the future, allow our games to connect, interface, and share data whenever applicable so that as you buy our products it will be more like you're buying an addition to a library of tools rather than a standalone game that you'll play for two or three weeks and get tired of. For instance, uh, when we came out with SimCity 2000 we provided an upgrade path to the users so they could take their original cities from SimCity Classic and move them into SimCity 2000. The user, when they play our games, that's what they're really creating. When they build a city and they spend all the time designing the intricacies of their city, it's that data set that they're creating. Now, they don't care you know, how much of the code that we have in SimCity 2000 came from the original SimCity. What they care about is they can take their masterpiece from SimCity Classic and move it into SimCity 2000. So that's the reuse that I think really matters to the consumer. The kind of games we do, as I said, are very dependent on process. Uh, more so than structure. So the faster CPUs that are coming into the market um, are a great help to us because we can really make a much more believable world and the kind of worlds that we make tend to be socially based. Um, they're about real systems, uh, things that real people interact with like cities. Uh, in the future I think our games are going to evolve to be even more social um, beyond just the subjects being social, also the way people play them. They will play them with each other, they will discuss them, they will trade data types. Uh, so as networking technology advances, we will start you know, having multiplayer versions. Um, we'll look at ways that these simulations can become basically a communications media between people around things they create, around ideas that they're exploring, around issues.